Today, friends and family held the funeral for a Turkish-American activist killed by the IDF during a protest in the West Bank. Aishinur Egi was shot during a weekly protest against an Israel settlement near the Palestinian village of Beta. She was 26 years old. Israel says her killing was a tragic accident. But there are growing calls for an independent investigation, including from lawmakers in Washington state, where she recently graduated from college. Senator Patty Murray and Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal wrote in their letter, We fear that if this pattern of impunity does not end with Ms. Agi, it will only continue to escalate. It is imperative that the United States take concrete and decisive action to better protect American citizens. Joining me now is Juliette Majid. Aishinoor was a close friend of hers, and they spoke right before she traveled to the West Bank. Juliet, thank you for being with me and um, our condolences for the loss of your friend. I know you're also the designated uh, spokesperson for the family. Let me read for you something that uh, the White House released, a uh, statement from the president this week. The U.S. government has had full access to Israel's preliminary investigation and expects continued access as the investigation continues so that we can have confidence in the results. What is the family's confidence in this investigation? Well, so the family has released statements um, on social media, um, so I can't necessarily speak exactly for them, but I know that I feel like I don't have confidence in Israel investigating their own military. I want this U.S.-led in independent investigation for Aishinur, which the family has continuously asked for for over a week. It's been over a week. It's been over seven days, and we haven't gotten this independent investigation. I think it's shameful that President Biden released this statement and called it an accident without having that investigation. And so you and so would be uh, have greater confidence in a U.S.-led investigation. That's the, the independent investigation, the FBI, that you are, are, would like to see. I would like to see an investigation that's independent of the investigation that Israel has conducted of its own military. Do you trust the U.S. to do it? I hope I can trust the U.S. to do it. Aishinor was an American citizen, a very staunch U.S. activist, human rights activist here in the United States and in the Seattle area. I really hope that I can trust the U.S. to be able to conduct this investigation because that is what she deserves, and it's what her family deserves for justice. Mm. Uh, the president says preliminary investigation indicates that it was a result of a tragic error resulting from unnecessary escalation. Um, that Aishinor was hit indirectly and unintentionally by IDF fire. How much information, if any, has been shared with the family, do you know of? The only information that I know is what is available to everybody else through the public statements at this time. Mm. Um, obviously, it feels so heart-wrenching and heartbreaking to know that she was killed in the West Bank, upholding a long-standing tradition of being a peaceful, independent, international observer. And it's incredibly hard to even think that we don't have her anymore and her life was taken by the Israeli military. Aishinor was killed, as I said, in the West Bank, not Gaza, but in the West Bank. Uh, Palestinian Ministry uh, of Health in Ramallah reports that uh, close to 700 people have been killed uh, in the West Bank. Let me get your reaction to what we heard from Secretary of State Antony Blinken uh, about what's happening in the West Bank. Uh, no one, no one should be shot and killed for attending a protest. No one should have to put their life at risk just for freely expressing their views. And now we have the second American citizen killed at the hands of Israeli security forces. It's not acceptable. It has to change. And we'll be making that clear to the senior most members of the Israeli government. And what's your reaction to what you heard there? If that's what Secretary Blinken has to say, then why hasn't there been an investigation? Why, why aren't we seeing justice for Aisha Noor? Her funeral was today. So they want to take these steps, but where, 
where are they coming from? What are they, what are they doing? We just want to be able to have justice for our friend, for our loved one. We want justice for those she loved most, for her family. So I, I really hope that they, the U.S. government does something, that they have an investigation, an independent one, and not just rely on the Israeli military to investigate themselves and accept those findings. Her she deserves justice, and that's what I want. Her partner, um, Hamid Ali, has uh, released a statement uh, that he has not heard yet from the president. He hopes that uh, the president uh, would call, at least with condolences. Uh, Juliet Majid, thank you so much uh, for your time this morning.